welcome to YouTube channel Nails by Yvonne. I got a lot of requests doing the argyle or the diamond shape design cutout technique. So today, let's do it. This design is a little hard and take time to do, so it's not a fun design, but it's good to step up your game and challenge yourself. Let's start with the first bit. I use the black acrylic. Just get enough liquid and I tap on the paper towel. To make sure when I apply the bit, it's gonna just stay and set, not running at all. Now I'm just gonna use the brush to tap and make it smooth and just wait for it to look matte. That when I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna use the blade and dip in the liquid. So when you cut, it's going to leave you the sharp look. Make sure you eyeball and cut it evenly on both sides. Because the black is very high pigmented, so it could be messy. The key is to cut when it's completely set. Because if it's wet, you won't have the sharp cut and underneath still wet, it's going to be super messy. But if you take too long and it's dry already, it's impossible to cut. Now I'm applying the white for the top part. Same thing, tap on paper towel. So the bit is set when you apply it on and I'm using the brush to clean around and clean against the line and look at the bit and wait until it's turned matte that's when I cut using the knife dip in the liquid and measure against the black line to cut up to the white. Okay, so from this part on, it's gonna be a little more challenge since we have to cut opposite V. Same thing, apply the bit and wait for it to completely set, but not dry. But you not just put the blade and cut, you have to measure line up with the white on the top mark then cut and swing the blade in I'm gonna do it slower on this side so you can see how I swing the blade. Apply, clean, smooth it out, and wait for it 
to set. Now dip the blade in the liquid, line up with the white, mark it down, just mark it first, then put the blade right in that corner, swing it in, go lower a little bit, swing it in more. So just keep applying layers and layer. One using the V cutout and then the opposite V cutout technique. Remember to mark first before you cut. So make sure it's lined up with the top layers. Okay, I'm gonna fast forward this part so you guys got the technique. Because the cutout technique needs to be a little bit thicker than um, the usual application. So to save time, I'm just going to use the tornado bit to thin it out before I finish using the fine bit to smooth it out. I know it's a lot of work guys so let's do something fun I'm gonna show you how I did um, marble design using our smoky ink so first I'm gonna apply one coat of the white gel polish I'm using the ugly duckling brand that is so good and one coat cover it all 
cure for 30 seconds. Now applying the matte gel top coat. Make sure that each coat is evenly and thin. Then cure for another 30 seconds to a minute, depend on your LED light. Then wipe with alcohol. You have to wipe with alcohol even though it doesn't require to, but without it, the ink won't work. two exact same marble design so depend on your imagination how you move your brush you will have different marbling I'm using the alcohol on 99% and a round brush to do the marble design just tapping alcohol on top of the ink and move the tip of the brush to thin out um, the ink and push the dark part to the edge creating the marbling. this finger I'm gonna use the same marbling technique but I'm gonna do a rose design on this one I got inspired and learned this technique from my dear friend Helen Helen nails uh, YEG on Instagram and I have to practice this rose so many times to learn how to control my brush not too wet but not too dry and how to um, open and close the petal so just watch and practice this could be fun
Thank you for watching my mom's video. Please share and subscribe.